What's up guys, John Origins here today, got a Pokemon X and Y, Wi-Fi battle, does anyone get tired of that intro? I bet people do, I don't think they want to hear it, but oh well, we're going to continue on with it for a bit. Um, I got a battle here against Mystical, aka Mike, hashtag Miss Oracle, and it's actually a really good battle and I enjoy playing this, so did Mike, so uh, I figured I'd bring it to you and I get to showcase some of my new guys, including my Aegislash and my Yan Mega. Yan Mega being a speed boost life orb standard set with Psychic, and then Aegislash having its bro mix set. Oh, I, I really do like it and I think it does a little bit of work in this match, so uh, that's alright. The main threats on his team that I'm looking out for are his his own Aegis Slash because I really don't have much to take it when my fortress goes down and if I had to play around King Shield and Sword Snats and all that jazz. And then his Gastro John because none of my teams ever have anything for Gastro. I'd never have a set of because they don't exist at the moment and I don't have like Chestnut because who the hell runs Chestnut? Um, so don't don't respond to that because I know what you're gonna say. Bulletproof Gengar. I know it's good. Okay. Uh, anyway, he leads off with the High Dragon. I lead off with the the Labyrinth. My Fortress. I'm scared out by the Fire Blast. So I'm gonna switch out into my Snorlax. You can take the hit because of thick fat and thick fat, <laughs> thick fat and all that. So uh, I'm gonna go for the Bio Slam on the switch. He ends up bringing in his Aegislash, Slash, and now I'm caught up. But I figure I could take a hit from this Aegislash Slash and then take it out with the Earthquake because it's in Blade form. It's got like base 50 defense. Easy kill, right? So I'm gonna go for the EQ, and it doesn't kill. Oh my god, I was not happy with my Snorlax there. So, unfortunately, my Snorlax may have to go down, but I figure this as an opportune time to bring in my Fortress, who can take the Sacred Sword no problem because I am max defense, and Fortress usually has a good time with Aegis Slash because it can't do much to it unless it's the special set, of course. Ha ha ha! But I, I might start running Earthquake just for these Aegis Slashes at this point in time because I can't do much with Dry Ball or Volt Switch. But at this point in the match, I know he's going to switch out, so I can switch out, switch out, <laughs> uh, go for the Stealth Rocks even, and then. Uh, Get some residual damage on his pokes. He brings in the, the Rodent Heat because he doesn't want to take 25% Stealth Rocks entry, and he gives himself some offensive momentum because I do not want to take him overheat. So I'm forced to go into my Rodent Wash, who I figured can take the overheat well, but he goes for the T Bolt, and that did a lot of damage, so he's Choice Specs, and I'm scared of him, so I'm going to Volt Switch out. I am Choice Scarf, so I know I'll speed him. But uh, Mike also knows that, so he's going to go into his Gastrodon, something that completely destroys me. Something that I hate, it's a Gastrodon. Oh my god, oh my god. Please stop using it against you people, it's it's no, not fun, okay? Um, so now I'm going to sacrifice my Snorlax. I have no real need for it. Uh, well, I, I, if it was at 4 HP, it would be good for his Rodan, but unfortunately <laughs> I had to waste it attacking a Aegislash, Slash, which I didn't kill because Snorlax is pathetic. But um, uh, I get a free switch in my Tyranta, who is the best to take it on <laughs> to an extent. I mean, I am having to risk a Scald Burn here, which is very, very risky of me. I'm going to go for the Crunch, and it does over half, which I'm like, yes, finally. That basically puts it in Revenge Killable range, so I'm happy with that damage. And Mike doesn't get the burn, so I'm just as happy with that. But I know he's going to want to save his Gastrodon for later, so I'm going to make the double switch out. He is definitely going to go into his Skarmory, so I'm going to go into my Rotom, who can Volt Switch out on it and do stuff like that. I can also bait in the Gastrodon as well uh, to get it with a trick. Um, so he brings in the Skarmory. I know he's not going to want to stay in to take unnecessary Volt Switch damage and it might kill him depending on his IVs. So I'm going to go for the trick. He brings back in the Gastro as, you know, as I mean, it's a safer play and I completely stop this Gastrodon from being a threat. Which is one of my happier moments. I love it when my Rotom gets a chance to trick a, a Ferrothorn or a Gastrodon, one of its common switch-ins, and then it can attack, you know, get a burn and stuff like that. But um, I don't think I want to waste my Rotom yet. I figure it's still got a bit of use in it. So I'm going to switch out, go into my uh, yeah, Mega, who won't mind the burn as much as my other guys, so I switch out into that. He doesn't get the burn again, which I am thankful for, because <laughs> now my Yamega won't be taking any unnecessary recoil, and I can just go for the bug bus and try and get some mad damage on thing some things. He brings in the Rotom Heat, it is resisted, but it's a solid 2 hit KO, and uh, I'm thinking, huh, I could probably get a kill on this thing. So uh, after the speed boost, I know I'm going to outspeed it because my Rotom outspeeds it. 
I think, I think I saw that, maybe. But, um... I go for the psychic there just to finish it off, and uh, yeah, that's good game, Rotom. That's one threat out of the way, so my fortress feels a little bit safer. Um, but he brings in the Skarmory, he resists all my moves, so I'm forced to switch out. My Amega did get a kill, which I'm very happy for, so um, he can go back into its Pokeball Relax and feel safe knowing that it's done a good job already. Uh, but I'm bringing my uh, fortress. Um, I actually thought about this play for a pretty long time. I was tempted to stay in just in case he went for the Stealth Rocks, but <laughs> it turns out he doesn't even have Stealth Rocks. To, and it, Skarmory might not even get Stealth Rocks at this point in time, who knows. But um, I meant to save a play, switch out into my Fortress. I can then go for the Volt Switch uh, as I force him to switch out because he can't do anything to me. And uh, Volt Switch from a Fortress may do a little bit of damage to a Skarmory. Uh, it does give me some switch advantage. He brings in his Aegis Slash. I bring in my Aegis Slash. King John is ready to throw down the pain. Um, Here's a little thing where he predicts my King Shield and I go for the Shadow Ball instead. It was a 50-50, I go for Shadow Ball just in case he goes for his own King Shield, you know, you know the deal. It was a very 50-50, I came out on top of this one, but you know, in a future occasion it may not be the case. Um, but I do have that Shadow Ball there as is like a safety rail in the Aegis Slash versus Aegis Slash Saga. Just in case, if I went for Shadow Sneak and they went for King Shield, giving me the minus two, Shadow Ball prevents that from happening. Um, but he brings in the... Um, this thing, Hydreigon, and I'm just going to sacrifice my Rotom. I don't need it anymore now that the Rotom Heat's dead. So uh, I can sack that and then bring in my uh, Tyranitar. Knowing that he's probably Twist Scarfed, I can uh, get up the sand. I can uh, go for Rock Polish, but I figured he'd switch out here. Go into his Skarmory or something along those lines, and I can get off some mad damage with the Crunch. So uh, <laughs> that never happens. He stays in for some odd reason, thinking Dark Pulse will maybe do more, maybe get some flinches on me. But in the long run, I'm going to be killing that fast and it's going to be killing me. So, uh, I meant to click Rock Polish here to signal the end of the game. But instead, I clicked Rock Slide because they, they look the same and they both have Rock in their name. And uh, oh, that wasn't fun. That was a complete misplay on my part. But it turns out alright because I do hit the Skarmory for pretty hard damage. And I kind of follow up it with a crunch and kill it. It brings in a Tyranitar here and I'm thinking I can probably outspeed this. So I'm going to go for the Earthquake. He ends up uh, being jolly natured. So he does outspeed me. Uh, but he goes for the Dragon Dance, maybe figuring he knows that he can live a uh, Earthquake from me, uh, which uh, unfortunately he can. So that's uh, that's no fun. Uh, the Tyranitar does just about live, and now I'm facing a plus one Tyranitar in attack and speed, but that's not an issue. Is it, people? No, it's not, because I have threats to deal with this thing in the form of my Fortress. He may be at plus one attack, but ladies and gentlemen, my Fortress is max defense, max HP. And that means this crunch isn't going to do anything, and I can retaliate with the gyro ball. This is why I keep Fortress around. It's a good old wall, and it can deal damage with its gyro ball, being that it's dirt slow. Um, but anyway, I kill off the Tyrant, so that's uh, threat avoided, threat avoided, as he brings in the Hydreigon. I believe my last three guys are Fortress, Aegis Slash, and Yan Mega, and uh, they're all weak to fire. And two of them are weak to dark, so <laughs> I've got a really bad match up here. But as long as I can live a dark pulse, which I can, I can go for the sacred sword and then eventually win the game because his ass is Scarf Gastrodon. But of course, <laughs> Mike gets the flinch, and I'm just forced to go for a shadow sneak, which is in vain because it will not be killing. And oh my god, I there's only one chance for me to win now. My last, my last is Yan Mega. And um, I need to get two protects to win because the one protect will make it so much plus one speed, but the high dragon is twist off, so it'll still outspeed me because it has a high base speed. But if I can get a second protect off, I will outspeed him, which I do. <laughs> oh god, that chance, I got it. So after being flinched, after just about going to lose the game, I get the double protect off and I can go for the bug buzz, take out the high dragon, and all he's got left is a. Uh, half HP Scarfed Gastrodon and I can kill that easily with a Bug Buzz win the game making it I believe it was a 1-0 in my favour and yeah that's a really really fun game um, if you enjoyed it please check out Mike his link will be in the description we all know he uploads quality stuff and uh, yeah I've been John Origins and I'm out so peace